do it later on. God wants to do a healing. I want you to lift up your hands in this place. Now, we ain't going to do the offering yet. I just want you to be honest about some feelings that you have. And it's not going to be healing in essence of that it's going to take away the pain tonight. No, that's not what it's going to be because we still got to talk to some folk. We can't pray and avoid people anymore. We can't pray and avoid situations anymore. We, we've got to be willing to tell some people, you hurt me. Yes. But we also have to be willing to accept when somebody come to us and say, you hurt me. Yes. And without being defensive and walking, but let's say, if I hurt you, I'm sorry. Let, but let's get beyond this pain. Yes. So I'm saying not healing, not just for the situation, but I'm saying healing that we can go and talk to some folks. Some of us need to talk to some folk. Some of them might be in the room tonight. I don't know. Some might be in your house when you get home. Some may be someone you're going to see on your job tomorrow. I don't know. But God says we've got to get on the road to recovery. So I'm not praying for the pain to go away because the pain ain't going to go away until you have that conversation with the people you need to have a conversation with. But I'm going to pray that you have strength to have it. Have strength to tell somebody. Just use that example. Prophetess, you said something to me the other day, and I don't understand. I'm just using that as an example. It ain't real. It's just an example. You said something to me the other day, and it hurt my feelings. And I, I don't understand why you said it, but it hurt me. And, and you know what she do? She doesn't say, well, I, I, I was just saying what God told me to say. No. I'm not saying God didn't tell you to say it. I'm saying the way you said it, it hurt me. I'm not trying to get you to take back what you said because you could have meant it. But let's get to a place of healing where what you said and how you say it don't cause a rift in our relationship. Then I say, you know what, I apologize. You know what, I could have delivered it somewhere in some other manner. I could have said something else. You know, let's not let this be the end of it. Let's, let's go from this day forward in healing. Because we'll do more together than what we'll do not coming to church, not speaking to each other. We got to have a conversation with some people. I'm going to push this Sunday. It might be a repeat. But we're going to get some healing. We need to have some conversation. Father, in the name of Jesus. I just want you right now, I just want you to begin praying for yourself right now. Just, just you, know, you know what's hurts you. You know what's going on. I just want you to open up your mouth. I just want you to, to begin talking to God. Just begin to talk to him. Just, just begin to lay it out and say, God, give me the strength to face this. Father, give me the strength to face that. Father, give me the wisdom to address this issue and to address this thing that has happened. Father, give me the right word. Father, give me the right tone. Give me the right temperament, God. Don't let me do the right thing in the wrong way, God. Father, because I have pain in my heart, I got frustration, and I got things that are going on around me, God, and I need to know, God, that you're with me. Father, I'm praying for somebody, God, right now, God, that you would give them the strength to go talk to a husband, talk to a wife, talk to a sister or brother, even to a mother or a father, even to talk to a child, a relative or a friend. Father, give us the strength to go resolve some areas of our life that has been left unresolved for so long. Father, help my abandonment issue. Help my trust issues. Father, help me overcome not wanting to feel vulnerable, but Father, in forgiveness, there's always a level of vulnerability. Help me to overcome that, God. Father, I just ask you right now. I ask you right now, God, give us the strength. Give us the understanding, God. 
Help us, Father, become everything. Father, we're going to call some people tonight on the phone. Father, we're going to visit some people on tomorrow. Father, send healing. Send healing uh, for the barrier that we've created. That we've been masking the pain for so long. Oh, somebody, you just have to go Why You got to be willing to say I'm hurt. Somebody, I, 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 I want to go, but, but God told me to tell somebody, you, you, you can be honest tonight. Nobody, this is a judgment-free zone tonight. There's no judgment coming out of this place. There, there's no condemnation coming out of here. There, there's no one who's going to get in your business and try to talk about you tonight. But, but I just want you to be honest with your situation and say, Lord, I've been hurt and I'm angry. I've been upset. I've been living with frustration. Oh, God, I need you, God. I need you. I don't know. I, I, I guess, Lord, I thank you. I, 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 I do it, God. I do it, God. If you know you've been living with frustration, I want you to come to this altar right now. I got, I, I got switched. I got to be obedient. You know, don't, don't hesitate. You know who you are. If you've been living with frustration, just come to this altar. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes I have to say I'm sorry when I've done nothing. Because someone has to be dedicated to rebuilding the relationship. And some people are too prideful. Got too much pride. They, 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 they think they're more than what they are. But God told me I got to be the one that's willing to say, hey, I value our relationship enough that I start the conversation that you don't even think you need to be a part of. Because I know that if we don't even have the conversation, we'll never be healed. We'll never be whole. I, I, I've dealt with insecurity. I dealt with, you know, it, it's a hard mass. Cause, cause, can I just be honest with you? It hurts when preachers talk about you from their poor people. Yes, yes, yes. It hurts. Yes. It's, it, it hurts when people who are supposed to be co-laborers in the gospel will use their poor pit to blast your name and to blast what you're doing yes. and to talk. It hurts. Yes. It hurts when people will judge you who have never taken the opportunity to get to know you. It hurts. But God told me, if you won't heal it, you got to be willing to say that there's a problem, even when the others think there's none. Yes. He told me some stuff I got to do. I don't want to do it. Yes. I don't. I don't. But it's necessary for my healing. It's necessary for my wholeness. It's necessary for me to go to where God wants me to go. Yes. Because I can't take the next step with the last step holding me back. Yes. I'm ready to go up. But why is it every time I get up, everything seems to go good for a season. But you know what happens? My unresolved issue. Those things that I left undone, they keep <laughs> pulling me back down. I'm tired of being pulled back down. I'm ready for the next place in God. See, if you're ready, just lift up your hands. I just want you to just say, Lord, I'm ready for that next place. I'm ready for that next place. Yeah, Oh, bo, 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 shande, bo, yes, Lord, I hear you. This is what I want you to do because God told me very specifically, and I don't know why, but 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 I, I'm just going to go with what he said. God just, <laughs> God told me that some of us just need an embrace tonight. He said some of us just need a hug tonight to be able to let go of some stuff. Not, don't give them a church hug. I want you to give them a real hug. I want a hood that they can release what's on the inside of them. Okay.
that they can release the pain that they've been dealing with. That they can say, I'm hurt, I'm ready for healing. I'm ready for a breakthrough. I'm ready to start my life and live my life the way he wants me to live it. Father, I thank you right now. Oh, Father, let your healing anointing flow. Father, we know that there's a...